As you can see, it is very uncomplicated and I'm focusing on key things here, key things that are going to affect the physiology. I'm going to focus on the glycemic load and I'm focusing on the salt intake. I'm also focusing on the types of fats. So I got a question last week, was it? And somebody said, oh, I'm on an acne diet. I'm taking low fat this and low fat this and I'm not taking sugar. I'm not taking dairy. So this was, uh, I'm going to shed some light on this. Please remember that a low fat and a low sugar and a low, that is not the way to go because your body needs fats. And the American Heart Association recommends that we take a certain amount of fat. So five to 6% of fat should be present in our daily 2000 calorie intake for the day. How can you just skip on fats? All the food groups are important so your carbs your fats your proteins your minerals and of course all the trace elements and vitamins everything is important you should not go on such kind of extreme diets please so i am going to focus on fats but i'm going to replace everything so this is a more of a replacement diet we are replacing things that are not good with things that are good so I would not go on a low-fat diet for acne because, first of all, there's no connection. Very, very uh, uh, terrible studies, and they really don't offer any connection. And there's a very weak link also. So, yes, some people are going to do bad with fried food, but fried foods contain a lot of other things. So I'm going to focus on a good fat diet. So you have bad fats and good fats. I'm going to focus on monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. And then the most important, dairy products. So dairy products, uh, they actually have uh, dairy products, most of the milk containing, cow's milk containing products contain a protein called leucine. Now leucine and casein and these uh, milk proteins are actually going to result in hyperinsulinemia so you're having a state where there is a lot of insulin being secreted and dairy is going to actually do that the other important thing that dairy products are doing is that they're actually mobilizing your androgen hormones so they are actually freeing up the androgen hormones and making them more bioavailable what does this mean this means that your androgen hormones were bound now they're unbound. They're going to directly go into the bloodstream, go to your sebaceous glands, oil glands, and they will stimulate the oil glands. You will have more oil production. So what is happening with all of these things? So a high glycemic food, a high glycemic food, so a larger glycemic load, a dairy products, what are they doing? They're actually going and uh, via the hormonal cascade, they're resulting in follicular proliferation and also stimulation of your oil glands end result is acne or the worsening of acne we are going to focus when we take the acne diet into consideration we're going to stop our dairy products yes i know it sounds drastic but no dairy products no dairy products low fat high fat skim full fat just no dairy products zero dairy products and that is going to be a very difficult thing to do for some of you but you need to take care of your skin and your acne if you want to do it holistically you need to be a little drastic so no dairy products number one and number two we are going to lessen our glycemic load so you should aim for a glycemic load of 55 or less how will you do that so 
you're going to eat foods with low glycemic indexes and that's very easy to calculate but now you have apps so what you do is just go and download the omni uh, the omni glycometer or any good glycemic index calculator on your phone app and what are we going to do we are going to select foods with a low glycemic index we are not going to overload our pancreas and we are not going to overload our liver we are going to give our body a chance to uh, stabilize and recover by giving them a nice uh, smooth uh, absorption of carbohydrates and that's going to be a low glycemic index so foods with a low glycemic index are very preferable for an acne diet and uh, you want to avoid at all costs a high glycemic load which is going to send all your hormones into haywire and directly cause acne worsening what are we doing in summary we are going to have uh, we're going to take care of our glycemic load. We are going to omit dairy. We are going to reduce the salt because salt intake is going to result in release of certain anabolic hormones, for example, cortisol and growth hormones that are going to actually worsen your acne because it's going to result in acne uh, proliferation via increased sebum flow and also proliferation of the follicular lining so you don't want to do that and then we are because we are uh, taking care of our uh, dietary needs so we require fat so we are not going to go on a low fat diet i just mentioned why you cannot live without fat but we are going to go for healthy fat so we are replacing everything so now we're going to take our um, animal fats or saturated fats so all animal fats need to be avoided at all costs. Animal fats are out of the door. And plant fats, monounsaturated, polyunsaturated fats, and of course fats also in things like salmon, so polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, omega fats, they are going to come in through the other door. So you're going to kick out the animal fats and you're going to let the other good fats come in. What is this doing? You are actually providing your body with those fats, mono and poly and omega fats, and these fats are actually going to reduce inflammation. They're going to reduce inflammation, meaning that acne is an immune-mediated and an inflammatory process. When you introduce these anti-inflammatory substances in your body via your diet, your acne is going to improve drastically. So we are not going to go on a low fat diet. We're just going to replace the bad fats with good fats. A lot of people are going to be worried that, oh, I will not take milk, especially cow's milk. I will have osteoporosis and I will have calcium deficiency. This is why when we are not going to include dairy, I am going to include options for you. You're going to take nuts. You're going to take leafy greens. You're going to take vegetables with high amounts of calcium, and that needs to be taken daily. Broccoli, easily available, very nice, delicious, nice to eat. Kale is a little tougher for everyone, but broccoli is, is a good choice. There are lots of nuts, and there are so many things high in calcium. So what we're going to do again, we're going to replace the animal sources of uh, uh, calcium or dairy sources of calcium with plant calcium. The same for vitamin D. So vitamin D, you need to take 1000 milligrams sublingually under your tongue every day. Vitamin D along with the calcium that you're taking from the plants and along with the choices that you're making in your uh, more vegan options that is really going to help you. And you're not going to have calcium deficiency because good the plants high in calcium contain a, quite a bit of calcium and you will be supplemented and that is not going to be a problem and then you also have those powders so you have the the super fruit powders you have the spirulina so you have the algae powders you have these different powders that contain large amounts of zinc they contain zinc and they contain calcium and they contain vitamin d so if you take these super food um, powders in your smoothies and on your food 
you don't have to worry because they contain quite a bit of calcium and zinc. So therefore, you are getting your zincs, your calciums, important things for acne, you're getting it in, again, in your uh, more plant-based diet. So now comes the test. Are you guys ready to do this with me? If you are dedicated to healing your acne naturally, healing it more holistically without the use of really harsh drugs, so... You need, of course, you will require topical medications. You may even require Accutane. But on a long-term basis, especially if you have uh, severe teenage acne or if you have adult acne, try this with me. Try this for three months. Don't give it one month. Try it for three months. Try to adapt all the different things. So the recipes that I'm giving, I live in North America. For instance, if you live in another part of the world or somewhere else, you please adapt it to your local products in your local fruits because there's nothing better than getting your own local uh, produce from your own country or from your own soil. Please adapt the level of spices. I uh, just want to mention something really important. Please don't use packaged spices. All right. Packaged mixes, noodles. Please don't do that. Because these packet spices, I have never used a packet spice in my life. Roast your own spices, make your own spices because the packaged spices are very high in unknown substances, in salt and in Chinese and things like Chinese salt. You don't want to be having that. You especially do not want to be having high salt. So these packet spices and these things that you get in cans and in, in the stores, you don't want to do that. Everything needs to be done at home and that is... A little challenging for a lot of you but you need to try to manage everything inside your house and not buy packaged stuff from outside plant milks plant milks you can also make at home so cashew almond coconut uh, oatmeal go on youtube and write and type plant milks how to make plant milks so in north america uh, we have the availability of all of these uh, uh, packaged plant uh, milks. But if you are not able to buy them in your store, please uh, go online, look, on, look at tutorials and try to make these plant milks at home. Same with oils. Use oils that you love. So olive oils, um, if you like, let's say if you like hemp oil, avocado, whichever oil you like. Use the oils that you love. Whatever is available in your country, try to use those oils. Do not follow it. Anyone, anybody, at any age, any lifestyle can follow this diet. But it's going to prevent you from a lot of heartache. It's going to manage your skin long term. It's going to manage your mental health, your body health. It is a very healthy diet. Before I go, this is also a tour targeted diet. What is TOR? This is a master messenger. It is a master messenger that is allowing, that is controlling the replication and the growth and the health of all the cells in your body, your brain cells, your skin cells, your gut cells, heart cells, all your cells are being controlled by the TOR system. My diet is TOR targeted. I am targeting the TOR system. I'm enabling it I'm allowing it to function optimally. So this is a TOR targeted diet and that is the diet you need to do all your life. Once you go on this diet, you really would not want to change. You do, would not want to go back to red meat. You don't want to go back to the saturated fats. You might even not even like to have dairy anymore because you'll be so in love with the cashew and the coconut milks that you're just not going to think of cow's milk and animal milk. So I love all you guys and I hope that this diet plan or this format is going to help all of you and I know that it will. Um, just remember that you are what you eat. Health is wealth. Knowledge is power. All these things are going to come in handy in the long run. Uh, rely on what your body tells you. Don't ignore the signs and you will always remain in good shape. 